Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. Welcome to the fourth tutorial of the 3D Game Assets series. In this tutorial, we will be modeling a low poly cargo container asset. This tutorial series assumes that you know the basics of Blender modeling. If you are new to Blender, I would recommend viewing my Blender Basics course before beginning this series. Change the renderer to cycles and go into orthographic view and front view and tab into edit mode. Scale the cube along the x-axis by 2. Scale along the y-axis by 7 and scale along the z-axis by 3. Add another cube and go ahead and move it to the front of the container. Scale this cube along the x-axis by 0.1, scale along the y-axis by 0.1, and along the z-axis by 3. Now go into top view and move this cube to the front right side of the container. And we want to intersect this cube with the container till it's overhanging just by one tenth of a blender unit on the front and right side. Then duplicate this cube and move it over to the left side of the container. Duplicate both cubes and move them to the back of the container. Now go ahead and select one of the corner cubes. Duplicate it and rotate it around the x-axis 90 degrees. Then go into the right side view and move this horizontal cube to the top of the container. Get it as centered as possible and then move it up so it's hanging over the top of the container by a tenth of a blender unit. Then scale this cube along the y axis by 2.35. Duplicate this horizontal cube and move it to the bottom of the container. Again, make sure it's overhanging by a tenth of a blender unit. Then go ahead and duplicate both of these horizontal cubes. And then move them to the left side of the container. Then go ahead and duplicate these two horizontal cubes. Rotate them around the z-axis 90 degrees. Then center them. Then scale them along the x-axis by 0.297. And then move them to the front of the container. Then 
and duplicate these horizontal cubes and move them to the back of the container. Select the right vertical cube and duplicate it and move it to the center of the front of the container. Then scale the cube along the x-axis by 1.5. Add two vertical loop cuts to the center of this cube. Then select the center face and extrude it along the Y axis by 0 0.05. Go ahead and add another cube. Move it to the front of the container. Scale the cube along the x-axis by 0.9. Scale it along the y-axis by 0.1. And along the z-axis by 0.5. Then move the cube to the bottom right side of the container. and then make three duplicates of this cube and space them vertically along the right side of the container. Then duplicate all four of these cubes and move them to the left side of the container. Add a cylinder and change the vertices to 12. And go ahead and move it to the front of the container. Scale the cylinder along the X and Y axes, point 0.1. Scale along the Z axis, 3. Then align it on the right side of the front of the cargo container. Duplicate the cylinder and scale along the Z axis by 0 0.05. Then scale this duplicated cylinder, which is going to be our clamp, along the X and Y axes by 1.2. Then move the clamp down along the z-axis to the center of the bottom horizontal cube that we made. Zoom in a little bit and we need to select the fourth face from the center front on the right side and extrude along the x-axis by 0.1 and then do the same on the left side Now go ahead and make three copies of this clamp and put them in line along with the center of these other three horizontal cubes.
and go ahead and select the cylinder and all of the clamps. Duplicate them and then move them to the right leaving about two tenths of a blender. You don't gap in between. Then select both cylinders and all of the clamps. Duplicate them and move them to the left side of the door. Then make sure you have all of the clamps and all the cylinders selected. And then we need to move them back until they are actually touching the horizontal sections of the doors. And specifically we need these clamps to be touching these horizontal pieces. Now we need to add 32 loop cuts to the top right side cube of the container. Now go ahead and select this bottom right side cube that we originally made and delete it. Select the one that we just made the edge loops on, duplicate it and move it down to the bottom. This will save us a step later on. Now go ahead and on the top part of the container, select every other bottom face. And once you have them all selected, extrude them along the z-axis by 5.75. Then on the left side of the container, this very top cube, select it and delete it. Then select the cube that we just extruded from, duplicate it, and then rotate it around the z-axis 180 degrees and move it to the left side of the container. Now go to the back of the container and we need to add eight edge loops along the top cube. Then go ahead and select every other face. Then extrude these faces along the z-axis by 5.75. 
Now we need to select every other face on the left top cube on the inside. Then extrude these faces along the x-axis by 4. Then on the bottom, we're going to again select every other face on the inside. On the right bottom part of the container. and then extrude these along the x-axis by negative 4. Go ahead and open up your materials tab. Make a new material and we will just call this metal. I'm going to give it a light gray color. I'm using the hex code of A8, A8, A8. Then we're going to assign this metal material to the clamps and the cylinders on the front of the cargo container. Go ahead and make a new material, and we'll just call this green metal, and give it a green color. I'm using the hex code of 5CA140. And then go ahead and assign this green color to the rest of the cargo container. And there you have your very simple low poly cargo container. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.